Hi, my name is Talia Lund, and today I'm reading Saidi and the Hummingbird of the Lines. So let's begin. Saidi is a hummingbird that lives in the Utkubamba River Basin, but he's not just any hummingbird. He is a wonderful hummingbird, or Lodigesia mirabilis, spatula tail hummingbird. Saidi is also wonderful because he is a happy hummingbird that leaves early to look for nectars of different flowers, always greets, is friendly with its neighbors, and enjoys receiving the sun. Like all spatula tail hummingbirds, he can independently wave his two long racket shaped feathers that cross each other and end in a large blue violet disc. He is always in a good mood and likes to chat. One day, Saidi left his house very hungry. It was a very hot night and he wasn't able to sleep well. He began his flight routine like every other day. But when he approached his favorite flowers, some pomarias, he found them withered. He was surprised, but thought he should go to find others. A little farther, he met his friend Samin, who was looking very worried. Samin told him that all the flowers he found were dry as well. The two friends were silent for a while, looking at each other and circling around, trying to remember the last time it rained, but they failed. Increasingly worried, they also remembered the shortage of insects in the area. Saidi and Samin decided to go looking for the oldest and wisest hummingbird in town, Unai. But when they got there, they saw a commotion of many hummingbirds flying scared. The wise spoke to them slowly and tried to explain to them that the strong heat of recent days due to climate change had caused the plants to die very quickly and that with this, many insects had fled the place. All hummingbirds were distressed by food. But Unai said it would rain soon. Some days passed and the few insects that had not yet migrated were increasingly scarce. The plants increasingly wilted and it was almost impossible to get anything to eat. The group of hummingbirds was very, very worried. They knew that if the situation continued like this, they would have many problems. They saw that the river had reduced its flow and knew that although other birds and animals could flee the area looking for food, they would not have the same fate. Those of their kind live in just few places in Peru. Saidi decided to return with Unai, the wise, to ask if there was anything that could be done to fix the situation. The sage received him and told him that nothing could be done but wait for the rains. Saidi insisted, asking for a solution. After thinking for a while, Unai replied to Saidi that he remembered an old legend of man, but doubted it could serve. I'll do whatever it takes, said Saidi. Well, then you will have to travel many kilometers to the Nazca Pampas. To Nazca? And what's there that, I, that can help us? There is the hummingbird god. He is the only one who could help us now. Sorry. The hummingbird god? Yes, the ancient Nazca people made a huge figure of a hummingbird that is 66 meters long between its two wings. They did it to pay tribute to a respected but feared flying god. In this way, it would serve as an offering so that this divinity would not punish them with the lack of rain. That is the hummingbird god, and he's the only one who can lift his wings to the clouds and hit them so hard that can make them rain. 
And how do I get there? Asked Saidi. Fly south, avoid humans and their villages. And if you are on the right track, you will have to go through a great desert, but better cross it at night. For the rest, follow your instincts. The hummingbird god will help you get there. Saidi left immediately. He had no time to lose. Following the advice of the wise, he headed south and flew as fast as he could. Luckily, the hummingbirds are very fast flying and managed to move along several kilometers the first day. On his long road, he met other birds who helped him by giving directions on how to get there, who invited him food and gave him strength by encouraging him on his journey. But he also met one of his greatest predators, the snake. Saidi was wrestling briefly when a mute rattlesnake came down from the top of a tree looking at him with hunger. Saidi took the flight quickly to avoid it and nearly got rid of a bite. Don't go, little buddy. I just want to talk, said the snake. <laughs> I'm not dumb, friend, and I don't trust you, Saidi replied. But I can help you with whatever you need. Saidi was so tired that he wanted to believe him. He wanted his help. But in his heart, he knew it was a hoax, and he had to continue alone. On the third day of travel, Saidi was already exhausted, almost didn't stop, and had been eating too little. He almost wanted to give up, when in the distance he saw a huge figure on the ground that looked like an animal, but he realized that it was not the hummingbird god. He kept flying, more and more exhausted. He felt he was going to fade and he would not succeed, when suddenly he gained strength, who knows from where, and started calling the hummingbird god. He knew it had to be close. Hummingbird god! Hummingbird god! He shouted his name and was distressed. But there was nothing but silence. He had seen many figures, but not the one he was looking for. At that moment, he began to cry, and one of his tears fell to the dry land of the desert. Immediately, with a loud noise, the earth began to move. Then a deep voice was heard, asking him the why of his sadness. It was the hummingbird god. Saidi, very excited, replied that he had come to seek help to make it rain and finally end the drought. You just arrived at the right place, but for that a sacrifice will be needed. You know that the gods are always asked for something in exchange for a favor. I'll do anything to save my community, said Saidi. So be it, give me one of your spatula feathers, take it out and stick it to the ground just like it was mine. But if so, I will stay alone forever. I will never have a girlfriend. No hummingbird will want me without a tail. But all your community will love you for saving them. You are the only one with a heart that big to do it. Okay, I said I would do anything to help them said Saidi, resignedly. At that moment, Saidi flew to the tail of the hummingbird god, and grabbing one of his beautiful spatula tails, he tore it off with all of his strength. He felt great pain, both body and soul, 
male spatula tail hummingbirds use their tails to attract females. Their tails are what make them special and wonderful. Saidi held his tail with tears in his eyes and placed it on the tail of the hummingbird god. At that moment, the hummingbird god rose in a great light and waving its huge wings toward the sky, hit the clouds very hard. They began to pour all the rain, wetting everything. Go home, little hummingbird. This rain will reach beyond the Utkubamba River and will last several days. You have saved your people. Saidi began his journey back home, encouraged by the idea of seeing his family and friends. He knew that the sacrifice that one makes for his community is all that is needed to be happy, knowing that thanks to you, they will be fine. The end. I hope you enjoyed Saidi and the Hummingbird of the Lions. My name is Talia Lund. Thanks for watching. Bye.